one of the most fun parts in action RPGs are end bosses. It's always fun to figure out how to best beat a certain enemy. But how do you make them? Well, it's actually pretty easy. With my tool RPGPlayground.com, you don't even need to know how to code. If you are new here, this channel is all about creating your own RPGs using RPG Playground. It's a free tool and super easy to use. No coding, no download, just go to the website rpgplayground.com, register and start creating. And of course, you can play tons of games created and shared by others. Now, let's see what kind of end boss we can make. The level you see here was not created by me, but by one of our users called John Doe. And the game is called Holy Swordsman. I'll put the link to this game in the description below. So first, let's start with a simple example. Let's add a bat here and take a look at the properties. So we click it. Yeah, the appearance is a bat. Here we have health and death. That means that the bat can get hit and can actually die. And if you see here, we have a when hurt actions. So that means that we can have custom actions that happen when this bat is getting hurt. So when we hit it with a sword. Here is a ball rush ability. That means that uh, when it touches your hero, that it will do some, some damage. So we're gonna deactivate it for now. We have patrol behavior. So the bat moves around a bit, not too fast because the speed is at 0.1. So it moves around randomly. And finally we have move to enemy behavior. That means that when the hero is close, the bat will move towards him and then uh, try to hit him of course and we're also going to disable this one now the health and death currently the maximum health of this bat is 10 so it will die in one stroke i'll put it at 30 so it needs three strokes to kill it let's test it out so if we move close to the bat you see it's actually doing nothing because we disabled the move to enemy behavior and also the ball rush. We can also hit it and actually it will not do anything bad back because we disable everything. But that's not actually what we want. What we want is that the bat will respond once we start hitting it. So when the bat gets hurt, we will do some custom actions. Let's insert an action here. The bat. The move to enemy behavior will become active and also for the bat the bull rush ability will also become active. Plus I want to add another thing which is the patrol behavior. I want the speed to become 0 0.8 that means it will move a lot faster and we can try it out let's restart the game so again bat is doing nothing let's hit it and now it moves faster and also when we get close it will attack us so let's try to kill it all right it's killed now let's add another thing i want someone to appear when the bat dies so first let's add the character that will appear Let's pick somebody that looks to have a fun time with bats, which is this character. So we want to start with this character deactivated actually. So what we do is we start here. We insert an action that this character will become inactive. That means once we enter this level here, this will be triggered and this character will be inactive and we will actually never see it at the first time. And now when this bat dies, we want to let him appear. So what we do is we go back to the hurt actions here. Let's insert a test here. If the bat, the bat's health value, 
If this one is smaller or equal to zero, then actually the bat will die. So here we have a test. If the bat gets hurt and the health value is lower or equal to zero, it will actually die. And now we can start doing some actions in this case. So we insert an action. This one will become active and he will also say something. So this person will say, leave my bats alone. And then he says another thing, which is you will pay for this. All right. Let's see if it works. Okay. We restart the game. Okay. The character is not there. Let's uh, annoy the bat a bit. Okay. It starts to become hyper and we kill it. And now you see the bat is not dead yet, but it will actually die right after this dialogue. Leave my bats alone. You will pay for this. All right. And then the bat is dead. But we want to add something else. So if the bat dies, we also want to add some other bats here that will start attacking you. So let's do that one. We go back to characters. We add some other bats here. Let's add one there. We add one there. And then here. And another one there. So those will appear after this person stops talking. So we go back here. We go to the hurt actions. And here. At first we will start with those other bats inactive. So here we need to activate them. This bat becomes active. Another action. This bat becomes active. This one will become active and the final one this one becomes active okay but now they also start active so here when we enter the level we also need to make sure that they actually start inactivated so this one becomes inactive this one becomes inactive the third one becomes inactive and the fourth one becomes inactive okay let's restart so here just an innocent bat not doing anything we hit it it uh, starts to become aggressive let's hit it a few times and then suddenly this character appears leave my bats alone you will pay for this and then all of a sudden there's four bats of course you can create many more bats if you really want to or you can make them move faster you can have for example one bat that is way stronger so let's pick that one here you could say like okay this one's health is actually a hundred speed he moves a bit faster and also, for example, when he moves to the enemy, let's make him move really fast to the enemy. We also have recover time, recover speed. This means the time necessary after, after uh, he gets hit to attack again. Let's close it. Restart. So we hit him a few times person appears leave my bats alone you will pay for this and then they all start attacking it's not too bad but this final one is a real aggressive one and also a fast one it will take way more effort to kill him All right, he's dead. And actually, as you can see, this bat, of course, the last one that we killed, the one with the 100 health. So let's see if it's this one. No, it's the other one. It's this one. 
Of course, when you kill the final bat, you can again do some actions. So here, when that one gets hurt, so here, of course, you can again uh, specify something that needs to happen when it gets hurt or when it dies, that the other character does something else. I hope you have now a pretty good idea of how you can combine certain actions and really using the when hurt actions here. And of course, don't forget to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss out on all the cool new features that you can use for your RPGs. So I hope this inspires you to create some really cool end bosses that really challenge your players. For example, that do certain things that the player does not expect or that the player has to figure out what's the best way of defeating such a character. So what to do right now? Of course, go to rpgplayground.com, start your game or continue your game. And of course, use this when an enemy has health and death. You can use the when hurt and do some actions there. You can give gold coins to the player. You can give him XP if he kills certain enemies or you can have like three enemies in a room and only after killing all three of them you can open a certain door things like that basically your imagination is your limit all right see you next time bye